from a uh, camera on the truss of the International Space Station, a good view of Mark Vandehei on the left, Scott Tingle on the right, Tingle in the first spacewalk of his career. The International Space Station has passed into an orbital sunrise, flying 251 statute miles in an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator. The station is currently moving from northwest to southeast over the uh, southeastern Pacific Ocean, soon to cross uh, the west coast of South America. And the work uh, being conducted right now by uh, Van der Heijen Tingle, uh, right outside of the uh, Quest airlock, is uh, the releasing of a series of uh, so-called EDFs, the acronym for Expandable Diameter Fasteners. These are uh, devices that provide uh, structural uh, rigidity uh, between uh, the latching end defector and the wrist of the uh, Canada Arm II robotic arm to which uh, the Lee is attached. Okay, here comes your right. All right, let it go. This is Mission Control Houston, two hours, 11 minutes into the spacewalk, all of the uh, preparatory activities. Uh, for the spare latching end effector residing on a spare parts platform on the International Space Station right outside the Quest airlock are complete. Next uh, up for Van de Heijen Tingle will be uh, the removal of the degraded latching end effector from uh, the wrist portion of Canadarm2, sometimes affectionately known as Mr. Roboto. Starboard APFR, the one in WIF-4, and Maker, the one in WIF-6. Reminder, only one crew member may ingress or egress APFRs on ESP-2 at a time. Okay. Your safety tether is on, next, it's going to pass your left knee. Up in front though, right? It, it's going around the front and then in back. It looks like it would go, if you move your feet forward, now backwards. What I was thinking is you might want to get it on. There you go, move your feet backwards. Now, I'll move your feet forward again. Uh, can you see where your feet center is? Yeah, I see it. I'm trying to get it on the other side, but yeah. It's going to be working. All right, we'll go with it. We'll just keep an eye on it. Yep. It's going to go anywhere complicated. There you go. Pull your feet back now. Back and your safety tether is in the place you want it. Right foot's in deep, that's good. Think you're about to get your heel in. Heel's in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. <laughs> All right. Before I get the left heel in yet, did you? Nope. Working on it. Alright, there it is. Nope. I think you had no bent things, sir. And I've got good clearance with the arm. Copy, and we got a great WVS view of that. Thank you. Verify clearance to the SSRMS wrist cluster, and you can rotate the Lee 180 degrees so that the EDF bolts point toward your feet. Now let me uh, get my local. Man, that and, looked better uh, than the Doug animation. Better than the Doug animation. Do. Let me get a good position. I'm going to work on the same. What's better for me, for me over here or over on the other side? Uh, I would recommend. Really, you got to. Um, oh, 
you could go or station I, aft and there's the CLA scoop back there to help you if you need to do some fine tuning of the position over the EDF rings. Turn it back where it was, put by the crew lock bag. The International Space Station flying over the South Atlantic, uh, beginning a southwest to northeasterly track that will carry uh, the complex and its crew members across the west coast of Africa a short time from now. And gents, uh, just a heads up on what's coming next once the arm is powered up. You're going to take the comm with NEMO and uh, maneuver to published, and that'll be about an 80 degree negative roll on the lead. And we want to make sure that uh, EV2 has access to EDF 6 and EDF number 3 for SABO. And if you look, and if you look station port, can see the coast of Africa. The International Space Station is about to uh, cross directly over Lagos, Nigeria, and will continue to move uh, from southwest to northeast over Niger, Libya, and across uh, the northern coast of Africa over the Mediterranean. We are now five hours, 21 minutes into uh, the spacewalk as the crew continues uh, to tightly secure the spare latching end effector to the uh, B side of the Canadarm2 robotic arm. This is Mission Control Houston at the six and a half hour mark in uh, today's spacewalk. Mark Van Hei and Scott Tingle are uh, beginning uh, the early portion of the process to uh, gather tools and tethers to take inventory of their equipment now that they've completed the uh, installation of a spare latching end effector at the end of Canadarm2. The uh, new end effector is communicating in great shape with uh, the rest of the arm. All is well, and the crew uh, has completed all of its tasks that were on the plate for today's spacewalk, the first of two such spacewalks associated with uh, the refurbishment of this arm. The second uh, will uh, take place next Monday when Vanda High ventures back outside, but this time with Norishige Kanai of the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency to bring a failed latching end effector removed from Canadarm2 last October into the Quest airlock. It will be return to Earth on a subsequent flight of uh, a SpaceX Dragon cargo craft and to move uh, the degraded latching end effector that was removed earlier today from the end of the arm to a uh, attachment bracket on the mobile base system rail car of the station. Copy. Yep, that's it. And the quarter turn fasteners uh, are on the uh, zenith part of the pivot bracket. Yep, I see you got one. And uh, you don't have to make this pretty, gents. Get it uh, ready to the outside of the bag, and you can head toward the airlock. All right, my head hook is attached and black on black with good pull test. Copy. Alright. Copy that. Go, I'm gonna go ahead and Copy that's a good. Go ahead, Table. Release your seat. If you agree I'm gonna release make your safety tether and I'll put my waist tether onto his safety tether. If you wanna hand me the crew lock bag and I'll throw it in? Sure. That's a much better idea. I like the way you're thinking. <laughs> Maker, this is Joe on one. Just uh, keep an eye on that rank going to the RMCT. It's going to get wrapped up on your right arm. Okay, sounds good. Let me uh, pop it off my BRT quick. 
Uh, yeah, let me get a red on it. Hold on. Try to present you the side with the available spot. Yeah, okay. 